welcome to my Power BI lecture video. In this tutorial, I want to see how to use the dynamic slicer called play axis. Let's get started. Now, before we can use that dynamic slicer, we need to be properly signed in, okay? And two, we need to be connected to internet. So now, let's go to our insert group. Then we we'll click on more visuals. Then we we'll click on from the app store. So when we get to the marketplace of the app store, then we search for that particular visualization. Then we add it into our visualization and build the report. Okay, now we have our Power BI visuals dialog box ready. So in the search box, we're going to just type in play, axis, then we hit the search button. So this is the play axis dynamic slicer. Okay, then we click on add. So we have it added into our Power BI visuals. So we click on update problem. So we can see that it has been successfully imported into our report. So we click on OK and then we click on play axis that we have it in our report. Now we have only a field to drag um, our data into. So let's say I can I want to see um, our each of our account manager how they performed. Okay, so I click on sales executive. So we have all these play buttons. So this is for play, this is for pause, for stop. Then we can move at each interval using you know forward play and move back using backward play. So now let me click on you know play. So when I click on play, so can we see we have Abiella David, everything is moving. So everything will definitely you know respond from our report here. So let's for example you know pause. So can you see now we have Janet Lee? So these are all the reports you know that are dynamically sliced for Janet Lee. Okay, so we can of course as I said move at each interval. So we have Kelly Callister. So these are all the reports. For example, in the month of November, the average daily revenue is 85,000 plus. So when I click on the forward, we have little bang. So for the same period, November, the average daily revenue is 14,000. So everything is looking pretty fine. Now let's quickly check one or two formattings. So for example, if you actually want to change the colors so we can turn on the show so we have this wonderful looking you know colors so we can even you know, change the color that is attached to the play to the pause to the stop and so on and, and so forth and of course we can even play around with the animation let's see you actually want auto start so can you see it automatically starts and everything dynamically slides and of course we have this you know loop so anyway this is how to use the play as this dynamic in you know, slicer thank you for watching my video and please do subscribe to my youtube channel bye for now